Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest trapping video. Today we'll be doing some more leaderless trapping, or my thousand IQ trap is what I like to call it. Um, I basically just walk my leader across the map, uh, wait for people to see it, or I'll walk it through a certain place where a bunch of people are looking and wait for people to hit me. Um, so this guy, uh, SGB, what's his name? OS9, uh, put it next to me. Um, I guess he sent a tester march. You get a lot of these tester marches, or a lot of times they're not even tester marches. A lot of times they're just people sending tier 2 cav or something that's fast to go, like, farm your castle and steal your leader. So you get a lot of these uh, weird attacks. Um, this one was a really small attack, but it was just a little clip I had stored up, so I thought I'd post it as well. But this is kind of a small attack. Sometimes you'll get, sometimes they'll send tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. Um, and then sometimes you'll get the tier 4 people or the people who follow up their leader because, oh, I didn't break their wall. I better send my leader and a uh, bunch of this. But this guy only said 22,000 tier 2. Um, again, he's trying to basically farm my castle. And uh, after that, he realizes I didn't have any troops or I have whatever. And sometimes he'll realize that um, I'm a trap and he won't hit me again. Sometimes they won't. And a lot of these uh, will have multiple people trying to get your leader at the same time. So you get the mad rush of like, four or five people trying to get your leader and like I said they're like a smorgasbord of things they're sending at you like I said tier one tier two tier three tier four with the leaders all that stuff and then yeah so I find this a lot of fun so this is the actually this is the way I like trapping because first off you're online at all times so you know that people are going to hit you um secondly um yeah like like I said you get to actually trap people when you want to it's not like oh wait for five hours for someone to hit you it's more like here i'll go fishing and see what i'll get so this guy is actually sending his leader um so he's sending cav um his leader um no fodder or anything like that i, I guess he's just trying to basically break through my wall i guess sgk what 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 guild am i in right now I'll double check that because uh oh i'm still in zmh that's why okay <laughs> that's why they don't know so i'm not in a guild that's uh what's called allied with uh sgk right now so that's why they're trying to hit me here uh, sometimes your your um allies will actually try to free your leader and save your leader so um if you can message them in time if they port next to you and hit you there's nothing you can do if they, if they're attacking you from far away um and you're in your in your uh, what's called guild to be like hey i'm online don't hit me um, this guy's actually sending tier two and tier three um, SGK Pure is coming in with his attack. I capped him and this other guy part next to me as well. So I'm just going to basically get this healing going because just in case the other guy decides to hit me as well, it's good to have the healing going. Um, so you can like instantly heal. A lot of times I won't heal all the way. I'll, I'll leave it at like three minutes here just because you don't want people to know you're online while doing this. Uh, because that's kind of the main point of this. You're, you're acting as an offline empty castle. So you don't want to heal up, uh, cause sometimes when they'll hit you with other things like these smaller attacks and stuff like that um they they'll think you might have a wall or something to get through the wall he, got, he had 163,000 dead on that uh, i guess he didn't have quite full infirmaries and or empty infirmaries or he didn't have enough infirmaries so uh 163,000 is tier four was sent to the uh the deads um the graveyard i guess um that was sgk pure was that the one who hit me yeah it was the one who hit me so he didn't even switch to his war gear or anything like that I'm not in any sort of war gear or anything. I'm just random speed up gear. I'm going to switch back to my uh, infantry phalanx. The only reason I uh, switch back to that is because if there is ever a gangbang attack and I've captured a leader at this point, I will switch to the infantry just in case they want to port in and try and gangbang me. Um, I'll be ready for that. At least I'll be in the right phalanx. <laughs> I, won't have, I don't have my war gear on right now. And I, I've, I've accidentally taken the, some gangbangs in the past without my war gear. I forgot the switch. But... Uh, the, it didn't go too well, but it, or it didn't go too badly, but it didn't go as well as it would, obviously, if I had my war gear on instead of this random gear. Uh, I do have 30 seconds left on the heal, so they will know I'm online in about 30 seconds. Uh, well, at least my might will go back up in about 30 seconds. It won't go up too much, but I think it will knock me up to close to 100 mil. So uh, if I stay under the 99 mil, maybe they won't notice, but if I obviously go up to the 100 mil. So I'm just sitting here waiting to see... Who is going to hit me? Um, SSZ, they haven't done anything. NM1 sent a... Uh, here's a okay, here. Here's a SSZ. Oh, he's sending one troop. So uh, I obviously know I'm a trap there. So uh, moving on from there, I was waiting to see if they would hit me, but they ended up not. Um, and they obviously realized it was a trap at that point. Well, I did cap one of the guy's uh, leaders, the 900 mil guy's leader. So it's a, it's very obvious sometimes I'm a trap if you're capping the 900 mil guy's leader. But like I said, it, sometimes if you can fake offline, you can uh, get some follow-up gangbangs or something like that. Or they'll just rally you. If they rally you, you, you port away, they'll probably cancel. Well, not if you have their leader. If you have their leader, they'll, they, you'll probably have to end up shielding. But here is an SGM. Uh, what guild am I in right now? Still ZMH. So I think this whole uh, video, actually, I've been ZMH. So uh, um, I'm in the Sugar Kingdom right now. I'm just 
going on a little uh, fun not being in the Sugar Guild at the time just to see who I can capture and all that uh, and get some video clips from that. Let's see, SGM is sending, what is he sending? Oh, he's just sending Tier 2. So it's just, just a, uh, a tester march to see what I have, if I'm in actually an empty castle or whatever, um, what he's going to send. I, I mean, my kills do give it away sometimes. Some people will actually look at my kills and be like, hey, maybe that's a trap. So they're going to send up a follow-up attack here. Oh, actually, no, that's someone else. Uh, someone else is sending 250,000 Tier 2. So like I, get, like I said, they, a lot of, I, you get a lot of these cab attacks just because the troops are faster and they'll try and farm your leader because he obviously saw the leader walking back and a lot of times they'll time it so that their Tier 2 hit right after the tier or your leader comes back or they'll speed it up to make sure because they're just trying to get my leader. That's all that's going on right now. I'm just baiting them with my leader because... Um, a lot of these kingdoms, um, there's not many leaders going around. So if you can find a level uh, 60 leader like mine, it's really good. So I think he timed it right uh, 16 seconds. What's he at? Yeah, so he timed it almost perfectly. So my leader should get back. His march should hit. Um, and he's hoping that he can steal this leader from me right as it comes back. So we'll see what happens. Well, I know what's going to happen. He doesn't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to switch the cab just in case. I'll take a little, a couple less losses. I'll switch back to infantry um, just in case that uh, range hit comes out of nowhere and destroys me because you don't want to take those range hits and calf alnix uh, whatever the reason is it does not work out well but um I, it's how the defending goes so never take a range hit and calf alnix it's you take like double the losses of any other uh any other hit so i'm not sure why it's just how it's set up so um someone else is trying to speed oh <laughs> he's sending tier two again so he's sending the exact same march i'm in war gear right now i don't know what he's doing oh i think oh because i didn't switch out of my war gear so i'm still in war gear so i'm gonna switch back to calf alnix see what's going on what's this guy he's 900 mil might um that hit me did nothing um so <laughs> he's set the same march twice i think um yep that one he did 4,000 damage on that one uh yeah because i'm in my war gears so it's not gonna do much uh, oh he sent heroes too um, sometimes actually the cav won't actually get to my wall depending on uh, what's going on if I actually had a wall he actually might not actually get to my wall and damage the wall it might, might actually die before that happens so uh, a lot, you'll see a lot of those clips even tier 4 sometimes that happens so this is uh, big yellow nuts um, same thing is happening I, I had my leader walking back um, it's about 2 minutes away so he's trying to time it right as my leader's trying to come back he's going to try and time his march to coincide with my leader walking back so he's got tier three he's sending so like i said you get, you kind of get a smorgasbord of le at least initial attacks um like i said you do get follow-up attacks after they realize that oh here comes another attack let's see how many people are actually gonna hit me that's tier three that's two hundred thousand tier three cav from that one so more than one person has seen my leader walking back and uh especially if you go to a new kingdom and you haven't done this trap before you actually get a lot of attacks sometimes Especially if a lot of people are on and you're walking through the middle of the map. Um, I'm currently in AA for this one. I'm just letting them know what's going on in my, my guild there. Here comes another attack. This one is a tier 4 cat or a, what's called range. So I'm going to stay in infantry phalanx because of that. Um, I do not want to switch to cav. Even with 250,000 it could do way more damage than it should. So I'll just I'll stay in infantry. Even with a couple cav marches walking towards me I'd still stay in uh, infantry. Um, yeah, just because cat, just because uh, range does so much damage. So <laughs> here comes three people trying to get my leader now. Uh, they, I think they're all gonna try and time it. Someone that's trying to scout me here. Um, oh, that's a uh, 11k. Uh, <laughs> that's one of those titans, and they just sped that up really fast. Oh, I guess I'm in the LH kingdom right now. So um, that was one of the uh, LH titans. Uh, LH has a lot of titans actually, so <laughs> you gotta watch out for them. Uh, more scouts coming in. I, my leader is walking back right now. And as soon as my leader gets back, you might see these marches speed up because they all want to... Yeah, here you go. They're all trying to speed up the, the time it. I have five attacks coming towards me. Okay, that's one there. And big yellow nuts coming in next. Um, nope, that's still uh, still speeding up there. See, what I could do right now is actually port away um, and take all the hits at once because it would be totally fine. They're, they're not sending anything crazy at me. Um, but what I want to do is make sure that I act offline because... That's my gear. I might actually get some follow-up attacks because I act offline. They might actually attack me again to try and get the leader back or gangbang me. So I'm actually... Oh, that was BV1. So a bunch of uh, BV1 coming in there. Um, nope, none of them was actually doing anything. I did take a little bit of damage from the... Uh, what's it called? The uh, leader attack there. I don't think it took much... No, that, that, one, that one didn't get to my wall. I still had 3,000 <laughs> wall left on there. 
Uh, let's see if this one got through my wall. Yeah, it got through my wall, but only did 1,400. Um, and this one, 109,000. Yeah, so um, you got to watch out for those uh, range attacks. They can do quite a bit of damage, but I mean, 109,000 is not much. But um, see, I'm getting scouted a bunch by a bunch of people because they obviously now see that my uh, my leader, or I've captured one of the leaders. Now I'm going to get rallied. It's kind of how it goes. Um, a lot of the times this will happen. Um, but I am, I am kind of distracting them from actually doing the Wonder Wars. Oh, okay, yeah. That's why there's so many people attacking me because it's Wonder Wars right now. I, lo I love doing it Wonder Wars because so many people are looking at, at the map at the time. So you can get a lot of people trying to hit you. Um, obviously, can't, these, these leaderless uh, caps can go bad just in case, let's say, a Titan port's next to you and you don't have your leader. Um, you might want to shield sometimes in that uh, situation if you're not set up right. Because uh, if they uh, counter you and you don't have your leader, even if even if you have your leader and a, and a max Titan hits you, you sometimes are, uh, can be in, in a problem if you don't counter, but uh, especially if you don't have your leader. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, he had three familiars just... Uh, uh, range and all that. Um, I guess he had. What did he have a tier five? Because 199. My, I guess one of those is like a small tier five. Then yeah, okay. He had he 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 didn't have a max tier five. I was like, why did it do 109 to my my backline? That's the tier five. That's the uh, pay to play familiar, but it's not max or anything, so it didn't do any significant damage. He only did 200 with it. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, I, I, this is so much fun doing this, and I'll, I'll show you the uh, the battle report here. This is afterwards. I've already shielded. I shielded the rally, obviously. I'm not going to try and take that rally or anything. I, I'm, I'm very uh, very cautious with rallies nowadays with the uh, familiars and stuff like that because you don't want to lose like 7 million troops from a uh, Titan rally. It wouldn't. It, it doesn't go very well. <laughs> yeah, well, ever since that one time, my, my phone lagged and I took the Titan uh, rally by accident because my phone lagged during it and I lost like 7 million troops. I, I, don't, I don't mess around with rallies from Titans or anything like that anymore. So I, I'll, I'll shield like Sometimes with like 30 seconds left within the rally, I'm just like, shield, screw it. <laughs> I'm not even going to make them waste speed ups. They, they they have enough money. Like, them wasting, like, uh, carpets and stuff is nothing to them, a lot of those guys. So it's like, oh, whatever. It's not worth the risk for me. Because they'll just buy more carpets anyways. <laughs> but so, sometimes I will, too. But it, that's only if it's not a non-Titan that's rallying me. Because uh, it won't be so bad if they actually hit me. But when a Titan does, don't risk it. And yeah, that, so this is just showing you what's going on. This is this is the uh, the one familiar that boosts up all the attack, and yeah, it was taken out pretty easily there. So I think that's the end there. Yeah, that's that's gonna be the end. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will have some more videos coming out later this week. I, I've been kind of slow on the videos, so I'll try to get more videos out this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.